there's a number of priorities for the federal government. Right now, because the storm's still ongoing, our priority is life-saving, life-sustaining. Jacksonville and the Keys are taking a considerable amount of our attention right now. Right now, though, the message is not to rush re-entry. There are still dangerous conditions, downed electric lines, flood conditions, problems that would be compounded by your re-entry. And so listen to your local officials not only about evacuation, but then about when and how to stagger your re-entry. I will tell you that we continue to take seriously uh, the climate change, not the cause of it, but the things that we observe. And so there's uh, rising floodwaters, I think one inch every 10 years in Tampa, things that would require prudent mitigation measures. And what I said from the podium the other day and what President Trump remains committed to uh, is making sure that federal dollars aren't used to rebuild things that will be in harm's way later or that won't be hardened against the future predictable floods that we see. And that has to do with engineering analysis and changing conditions uh, along eroding uh, shorelines, but also in inland uh, water and flood control projects. I do note that there's a cyclical nature to a lot of these hurricane seasons, and uh, I think uh, the scientists for their forecast on this particular one, uh, they were dead on that this would be a stronger and more powerful hurricane season with slightly more than average large storms making landfall in the United States. So we'll have to do a larger trend analysis at a later date. We could have uh, power down in homes for the coming weeks. weeks. The keys are going to take a while. We have not assessed the structural integrity of the bridges there. There's some early reason to believe that some of the drawbridges that were up may or may not have been bent. And so res restoring those is going to take some time. Uh, that Route 1 is a large, expansive bridge, essentially. Uh, all of the undergirding there has to be examined for structural integrity. I would expect that the keys are not fit for re-entry for regular citizenry for weeks. Please, for the people in Florida, continue to follow the instructions of your first responders and your local authorities. This isn't over yet, and it's going to be a painful, slightly frustrating, if not very frustrating, week or two ahead.